is Connie and I am back with a get ready with me this week. I So I have no makeup on. I've moisturized and washed my face. Um, sorry about the mirror being in your way but I need it to be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get right into this because you know these take me a while. I'm going to use my uh, Magic Lumi by L'Oreal Primer. That is this one. Just going to put a little bit on my fingers and So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm not looking at you guys when I'm doing this stuff, but I need to um, be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm about blind without my glasses. I have got, I will be wearing, it's very warm here, so I've got a summer top on. Um, <clears throat> I will be wearing the same top and the same makeup through many videos today. The next thing I, I'm going to use is my new, this is kind of a first impression video also. So I'm going to be using my um, Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Evens and Corrects. And this is in Fair. That's what it looks like. Shake it up a little bit. I like to shake my, get a few of my brushes out here. I'm going to be using my um, dupe for an Artiste brush. I'm not sure which dupe this is. I have um, another one that is bigger, but I kind of like the size for doing my foundation. So this is what the top looks like for my foundation. And I'm just going to, whoops, shook it up a little bit. Put some on my forehead once I get that far. All right. Look at this a little closer to make sure I have everything even. All right. I think that looks pretty nice. It went on very smoothly. These brushes. I really recommend these. And I got these for so cheap. I can't remember if this is the one I got off of 
eBay or if it was this one. But one of these only cost me $5 on eBay, where it's a $60 brush if you buy the Artiste, and it works wonderfully. I love the way it works. So anyway, there is that. First impression, so far it works really well. I really like it. We'll see how, how the rest of my makeup goes on. All right, so I'm going to do my brows, and today I'm going to use um, my Ulta Brow Tint in Light, just because I just really like this, this um, brow stuff. I have a hair somewhere. There it is. Okay, where's my spoolie? Jeez, I went a little above and beyond there. Okay. It's got quite a scar right here, right running along here. So that's always a little tougher to do that part to get it looking like it's and down here I've got a space also. I was in a pretty bad car accident when I was 18. Went through a windshield, got 50 stitches in my face. So this was the worst of it above my eye. My eyelid also you'll you'll notice that I have this little like nipple here. And that's it my eye was sliced all the way across. And this was in the 70s, so they didn't know as much then as they do now about stitching, so you know it looks cosmetically good. So I have like a little nipple there. I see a hair there I need to pluck. Here, that was just as easy as using a tweezers. All right, there's my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use my Ulta Eye Primer, which is my absolute favorite. And I'm trying to use one before I use up any others, and I've got quite a ways to go here yet. But what I do is I put a little bit on my finger, then I rub my fingers together, and then I gotta be quick because it dries really fast. And I'm not good enough, coordinated enough to do them both at the same time. This dries really fast. It's kind of a taupey color, which I really like. All right. Put this away. Okay, first for my eyeshadows today, I decided I was going to use my CoverGirl True Naked. And this is the roses color. Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but let's see here. I never do too much. Get my little brush cleaner out here. Okay. I'm going to use this color here all over my brow or all over my lid. Well, I have got that dang hair. Out you go. Don't want to lay right in my face all the time. I don't want you. And I 
do light this up under a little bit more stark underneath my brow there. And I'm using my, um, this is not the real Techniques brush, but it was a, like a dupe for them, eye brush, and I really like those. Really like that one anyway. And then I'm going to use my, um, Bellagio, or Bellagi, um, blending brush, and I am going to go in with, I'm going to go for kind of a dramatic eye today just because I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to go in with this color here, kind of this purpley rose color, and just blend. I tell you what, I love, love, love this CoverGirl shadow. Um, I am not a CoverGirl fan at all, but those three makeup or three eyeshadow palettes are the bomb. They're pigmented. They're so pretty. So that is that. Have you guys in far enough? Let's come in just a little bit. How's that? Is that better? All right, so then I'm going to go back in with this one to do my lid, and I'm going to use this sparkly rosy purple right here. And I always kind of Pull my eyelid taut because of my wrinkles. That way I'm gonna I know I'm gonna get it correctly. I'm gonna go in twice on that one. to blend them a little bit just uh, so it doesn't look so stark now I'm going to go in just a little bit I have my um, it's called color cleaner that I rub my brushes in after I use them every time and it kind of helps clean that um, clean some of that um, color off of those brushes just going in with this light gold color here second one in and doing the corner of my eyes and then just going up on the, in the corner of my lid so uh, let's see here uh oh got my finger in something dang it Okay, there we go. There are my eyeballs. And I don't think I showed you this. So I used, whoops, this one, this one, uh, this one, and this one today. 
Aren't they beautiful? They're just gorgeous colors. I love, love, love them. All right, for eyelashes, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mini. I just realized I forgot to pull out my uh, eyeliner. I'll just take this. All right, so that's here. that. Let's get in with a eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to use. Oh my goodness, let's see here. Let's just use the Physician's Formula um, Sexy Booster. And I'm just going to go in. Oh. Something there is kind of... hope that wasn't my foundation. That was kind of crusty there. I went in a little bit too far on that one, so I'm just going to keep it going. All right. And this being in my waterline, it won't last that dark for that long. I mean, I know it looks super, super dark right now. But um, I like to do it in my waterline, and when it's still kind of wet, I close my eyes and it gets on my top waterline just a little bit, you know. Okay. So that's that. Um, blush. I'm going to use my Spotlight by Clean Color today. I think this is very pretty brush. Brush. Blush. Here's my blush brush. Okay. Run that through my brush cleaner a little bit. Okay, for highlighter. I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. And I'm just going to use the, um, get my, this is Real Techniques brush. Get my, let's see here, let's go with the, the more champagne-y color here. You're going to be able to see this from outer space. I got a little bit carried away. Okay. So that is that. Let's go with lipstick. Let's see here. going to use my Bite Beauty, and this is, I believe, I cannot read that, date. It's either fig or date. <laughs> One of the two. I got the, I got the colors mixed up, so... All right, just a really pretty pinky color. There you go. That is my makeup of the day and or my get ready with me this week. And I hope you liked it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. 
and give me your opinions on the colors and on the you know if you've used the Clinique please let me know um, I think it's beautiful on my skin what I I think I'm gonna do though I don't know I've been seriously thinking about shaving my face because I've got a lot of peach fuzz on my face and I don't know if, if makeup goes on cleaner. Tell me your opinions on shaving your face if you're a woman. All right, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.